Hey guys, again, this is not because too hard. Uh, this is my second review on the same day I did the wing gun revolver. There it is. Of the ICS MP5. Uh, I, I got this for Christmas this year. I must say, I like this a little bit more than the TBSH. Um, it, is a lot, it is a lot more lightweight. And I just can't think of anything bad about this gun that I don't like. Uh, we will have, th th this gun is the SD5 version, which is the silencer in full stock. Okay, so, let's get to it. I don't like these boxes on it. Let me just cut the scene. Okay, so here it is with, with that stupid box open. Alright, so as you can see, here it is. Um, I already have the battery charger, um, but unfortunately it does not come with one. But the battery that you want to get is a, let's see, it's a 8.4-1800 milliamp battery. That is the correct battery for this, and it also makes a great rate of fire with this gun. So that's the battery you need. And if you already have some AEGs, the charger that you get may, may work. Um, I'm using a uh, AK-47 charger. Uh, it, it's not as good as this one, but 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 it's still, we're still with that. And there's no need to order any adapter or anything like that, like this large or small, because just order a a large type battery because that's what this gun takes. It takes a large battery, so so there's no need for this. I bought this by accident. And on and on, and on the video, they said that it came with two magazines. Um, mine did not come with two magazines, but uh, it came with one at least. But and I ordered another one for free since since they apologized. And apparently, Air Supply does not ship with 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 more than two magazines, or with more than one. My, sorry. Uh, so if you saw on the video, it says that they only came with two, but it only came with one, so that's why. Okay, so let's get to this gun review. Okay, so here it is. Cut on the floor. It is definitely mean looking, I must say. Oh yeah, and the magazine too. Uh, I believe this magazine holds 250 rounds, and it is a windable magazine. It is a pretty good one. I've had one battle with this gun. It works pretty fine. I mean, yeah. it shoots well, and it has a mean rate of fire. That that's that's the best thing about this gun to me. Uh, but the, whenever I first caught this gun, the, th the first thing I wondered was where, where does the battery go? And it does not go in here. And it may on another series, but not this one. The battery actually is installed in this type in the stock. Uh, so, that was a little weird to me because it didn't really look like it would fit in it's, it's such a small little stock. But it does, and it's a tight fit. Uh, let's see. And of course, everyone can know about the selector switch, semi-auto and full auto. So we'll set that back to safety for now. Uh, the magazine release is right here. Just press that in forward whenever you have the magazine inside. The sight does not flip down enough. It is a iron sight that that does not change at all. Uh, it has a cocking handle, which does absolutely nothing except just for fun. You can cock it back all the way like this, and so it's fun to like, you know, slap it all the way back like that. Might be do sometimes in games. All right, so, but if you ever wanted to take this hand guard off for any reason, it is held together by two pins on each side, and all you have to do is just remove these pins, and then it should come right off. It's it's a stiff thing, but it, it does come off and it will come back on. Alright, so what else? Oh yeah, I guess I, sh I guess I should show the sights real quick. Uh, there are multiple ways to show the sights in this. I can't really hold this. But you can use a hole, or you can use the, the traditional iron sight. If you can see that well. Which you probably can't. Oh wait, I'm pointing at the wrong. No. Yeah, that's the right way. Okay, so those are the iron sights. Now let's open the battery side. Uh, the battery can be accessed by pushing this plate forward and then pulling. 
So we wouldn't start with, with the fat end right here. We'll start with the more thinner end right here. So what you do is you push on the side, and then then once it goes back a little, you you would push it. You would pull it out. And uh, I can't really demonstrate this very nicely, considering how 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 much of a small space it is in here. So I, I guess I would just take 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 off. All right, so it's off, and as you can see, uh, it has a large battery adapter to it, which is uh, pretty good since, of course, you don't need that little battery adapter. Um, it has a whole bunch of weird wires. You, you kind of have to shove them all the, all down this little place here. Um, it's I, I can't say it's good for the wires, but there's there's not really any other way to get the battery in there other than shove all the wires down here in that small space that that is given. So I've worked it so that all I have to do is plug in the battery here. Then once the battery is plugged in, just you know put this down here until. So I've got this ready for the next time I have to plug this in. Alright, so this gun is pretty, uh, very, very, very incredible to me. It is 950 RPM and 350 FPS. So that's pretty cool about this gun. Whew, well, let's see, what else? Oh, well, I guess that's it. Well, this gun, there's not much to say about most about most of my new guns except the main things but uh, if, there, if there's anything that I did not mention just let me know if you have any questions or go watch another video whatever alright so I think that's all that, that we can do right now I have like four minutes left on this camera so please uh, give it a like and thanks thank you for watching This will be our victim against the ICS MP5. The battery is a bit worn down on this gun, so the rate of fire is a lot faster than this. I'm not making a video on the true rate of fire, but this is what it can do right now. Oh, wait, it's one clip. Sorry about the wind today, it's quite windy. see what that okay as you can see the target is a little bit torn up uh, from where I shot it and the plastic around it is full of dents as well and it seems that we've cracked it also I think we killed this zombie oh I guess they did penetrate after all Even even as low as this battery power is, this has still penetrated the hard plastic. That's that is surprising to me. All right, guys.